So nothing happened. Um, nothing happened at all. 1962. This place is running for a while. I hope that at least this place is in a better condition. Ooh, foo -foo. You might as well be wrong. Fire extinguisher. What's over here? Ooh, red. Another one. Red. Bonk. Alright. These red fuses have to go huh, down in there. Yeah, let's go. And then, huh. Oh my god, that is awesome. I've never done it in two tries before. Or just the that was the first try technically. I've never done that before. Pull out the phone to save the game, which I think is really funny. Also, cheat, cheat, cheat. whoopsies. I oh, might go. want to try the one. There we go. That makes sense. Oh yeah. Also, the train is coming up over there to the thing. So, honk honk. Yeah. The train just stops up there on the... You can't see it, but the train will stop up there. On the railroad. Since we stopped it. From hitting there. But yeah, this is closed. They closed off the log chute. They shut it down. They are not accepting any more logs. Because guess what? This place went out of business. Right. Oh crap. Wait, hold on. I forgot to do something. And that was. Oh, might help if I Three reload the camera. Left. Three packs left. And then there's gonna be a phone call when I climb in here. And so I'll be quiet for that. Or at least I think that comes after the loading screen. I know too much about this game. It's me. I just came from the old power plant. I don't think anyone's been there for years. One of the generators looked like it was broken. I turned it off just to be safe. Did you find anything else? The town is in really bad shape. Like, there's a huge crack in it. Someone needs to get on that right away. Anyway, after I am done at the town, I'm heading to survey the Bergman tunnels. Could you have someone pick up my car? I'll take care of it. Keep me posted. What in the world is going on? The elevator stopped working. We have to turn all of these to the green. Only some of them will work. And normally, if you see these things, there's normally keys on them. And you should definitely grab them whenever you see them, but that's not always the case. Also, we grab these out of here. We don't have to go searching for the ones that we that are around early or later in the game. There's a puddle there. Leaky pipe. What were they even doing here? What is what even is this? There's just beers in it. I wish I knew more about my dams because this thing is really cool. There's the water bypass over there, I assume that's what that is. There's that huge crack. There's where the, uh, well, the log chute's supposed to be attached, but I guess it just fell apart and fell away, I guess. Because now it just, it just lands on top of here and rolls into here. It would be kind of painful if you were to get hit by that. And well, yeah, as a log, it would actually kill you, most likely. I wouldn't want to get hit by it. I don't think anybody else would want to get hit by it. Let's try not to get hit by it, because that would be painful. Although there's no more logs going through it anyway. Actually, now that I think about it, that's probably why they closed it off, because it broke, and they're like, we don't have the money to fix this, so you guys are gonna go out of business. Sorry! Turn this on. God, imagine if you just, like, touched that. You'd be, like, blown away. That would, like, hurt really badly. I'm not going to take these with me, because I have no use for them. Also, Fun part. The water is electrified. 
I better watch my step. You don't say. That's not good. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's also. I'm also pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. You can do this with just two boxes. I'm pretty sure. You can just keep alternating the boxes that you use. But if you want to be able to get back, then you might not want to do that. But I'm not gonna worry about getting back because as soon as I go and unlock the door over there, then I can just walk over. I don't want to fall in because it's quite annoying. Have to go, having to go all the way back through that. Crack in the wall. Yeah, but there's a note in here. Although I do not. Oh, it is picture worthy. Never mind. This is talking about while you were enjoying the warmth of the south. Things have been getting have taken strange turns around here. Boss has been really paranoid lately. First he ordered the control room doors to be always locked, then later used a locksmith to renew most of the locks, like he's expecting some kind of attack or something. Also yesterday he ordered the security to perform checks on our lunch boxes, something I suppose you already noticed on the way here. I don't, don't ask me, I have no clue from Simon. I don't think we ever hear anything from Simon ever again. Yeah, but now, I'm not sure how this is not electrified if everything else is electrified, but you know, beats me. Broken. I really wonder what's behind that door. I mean, there's probably nothing behind it, but I just kind of wonder. Actually, should I take a picture of that being broken? I've never really thought about that. Yeah, I should have. Okay. For some reason, I didn't think about that. I don't know why. I think I got all the pictures that I need to take in there. <gasps> Tape! Okay, before we listen to that, there's something that I have to do. Um, I'm pretty sure we have to turn all of these off, I think. Yeah. Oh, something's happening. I think it lights up around 3000 RPMs. Yeah put directly on 3000 and then this one's the same I'm pretty sure this one's more picky about the speed you put it at there we go Ooh, that was so that was so loud that hurt these ones are automatic these ones are nice ones because they just sync they just sync for you which is really nice okay now to let you guys listen to this. My name is Alex Hartman. I was just betrayed by the man who practically built this whole city. It started with Bergman, then Stahlberg Steel, and now my company, all bankrupted by Jeff Walter. He bought the companies for next to nothing and then ran them straight into the ground. But that's the least of my problems. With the company out of business, there's no way we can keep everything in good repair. Things are breaking down all over the city, but no one's doing anything about it. The police, the mayor, and now it seems like even the governor's in his pocket. They care more about his money than what he's doing to this place. Whatever he's planning, it's going to happen. And I don't want to be here when it does. Because there's one thing I'm sure of. Everything's about to fall apart. Fascinating. Yeah, that guy's just schizophrenic. Don't worry about him. He'll be mentioned a lot in this story. And he's just crazy. So you don't have to worry about him. Four packs of camera batteries. I'm lying, by the way. Although he is crazy. Oh, wait, hold on. One thing. Uh, yeah, that. Looks like I'm not going that way, then. Uh, yeah. I wonder why. Nothing in there. Ooh, document. I'll read that right now. This is my final day working here. After financial problems started stacking for the company, Hartman started becoming more and more stressed and unstable. The more unstable he grew, the more he failed coming up with solutions to save the company from its debts. Instead, he kept blaming Walter for everything. It's just, he's literally just blaming Walter and craving for vengeance. This guy was really obsessed with Jeff Walter. You don't say. 
And, oh, look, it's on too, as well. If I come back this way, I think as long as I did it correctly, and then I go like that. Let's watch. There we go. Fixed. Dam is connected back to the grid. There's nobody there to keep an eye on it. That's perfectly fine, though. Nothing bad at all is going to happen. Absolutely nothing. All completely fine and normal. Phone call. I'm going to be quiet now. Hey, so I finished surveying the dam. It was in pretty bad shape. The generator room is badly flooded. Huh. Good thing that the place was on our list. Yeah. Also, the dam wasn't even connected to the grid anymore. I managed to reconnect it, though. Wait. So you connected a flooded dam to the grid? Is that such a good idea? I don't see why not. Anyway, I'm heading on to survey the Bergman tunnels next. Alright. Let me know once you're done there. Yeah. Yeah, was that even a good idea to connect a flooded thing to a thing? Fascinating. Other people read. Oh, this just talks about the Hammer Valley Hydro going bankrupt, and yeah, there's some other stuff around there that I think is new, like news of the time. I think relating to real life. I' pretty sure. Oh wait, never. Oh, let's look this up actually. Yeah, I think for the most part that other stuff is real. I'm not sure how real, but it is. The Falklands War thing was real, actually, so. And, uh, I think we have to go up here. What in the world? Shit. Oh, what the hell? Why was I just able to walk over that railing? That is great safety. Also, there's keys for that stuff in different areas, I think. I think we can go under here. Yeah, this is literally just area. But there are some things we can do here, like throw some boxes around. Do some boxing. Oh, I fell down. Darn it. The climbing animation is really cool. I like it. But there's some keys up here, and nothing else, I don't think. Oh, I can open this. I have five packs of completely like walk past now. that every single time. Oh, I can go in here. Oh, never mind. In here, oh, we have a spread of documents. Over there is just notes. Here in the middle is a ink blotted out name. I am MM, and I contacted you as a representative of Walter Construction Corporation's foreign development branch with business with business proposal. We have a major construction project going on here, and we are looking for good quality timber products to be used at our construction. So we're asking you to send us a shipment of, <clears throat> of best quality lumber. We're offering you two and a half million U.S. dollars for your shipment. Also, we need half a million U.S. dollars for special timber import toll and for special taxes for getting timber. You can find proper table of ordered items, shipping address, and information along with my bank details or the bank details for the special taxes and tolls. So it looks like... Oh, look, there's his name over there. I can't read that, but, you know, it says something right there. Yeah, okay. So they just stole money from them, and then they went out of business. I assume that's what happened, at least. They stole money and wood. Flooded area. But something you also learn is these things that have, like, timing on them. I don't see why this wouldn't be electrified as well. I don't know. Maybe up here will be a good spot to cut it off. Because this is really pretty up here. And you'll see what I'm talking about with the music, too. 